Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning to subscribe, bro, it's good. If you are new, hey boo, I am back with another video, okay? So, before I can get started with this video, I am almost close to 500 subscribers. And let me just say thank you guys for your continued support and for your subscriptions, okay? Dude, your support really means a lot to me. And I have this thing to where I like to celebrate whenever I hit a milestone on YouTube. So, if y'all want to be a part of the celebration with me, stay tuned, okay? Y'all gonna celebrate this milestone because y'all got me to this point and I want y'all to be a part of this celebration with me because y'all are on this journey with me. With that being said, just stay tuned. So basically, I'm gonna hop into this video. I seen something where I had to just come and make a video about it. It's just kind of like the whole thing, like, this is another thing you'll notice. Like when you are closely connected with the Lord, it's just gonna be that constant pull and tug against your spirit to just keep on talking about this and talk about that. Now talk about this. Now talk about that. It's just never ending. And so if y'all see consistent uploads from me, just know that it's the Lord using me, okay? But basically I wanted to come and talk about this specific thing. And y'all see the title, okay? So we have already talked about witchcraft a few times on my channel and spiritual warfare and if you tamper with evil there will be a consequence so be careful what you are putting out things that you are putting out in the world please be mindful this would basically be mainly for younger people okay because i keep seeing this whole thing to wear and i'm just kind of backtrack to the whole beware tears now i had a person come up on my channel with a little bit of negativity about that video okay because when you're speaking out against certain things and you see a person like this person may indulge in these type of things they may find guilty pleasure out of tarot readings and things like that they are gonna get offended okay and so i always tell y'all they always come and put out videos with good intentions i'm not trying to step on nobody's toes make nobody feel no type of way but i just have to come bring the truth okay and so what i keep seeing now is with younger people that's on their spiritual journey and like i said in the tarot video People have different interpretations of, of what they feel like spirituality is. Spirituality has a different meaning to people. Okay, so I see spirituality as a way of being connected with the Lord. But other people may see it as something totally different. Okay, so we're going to talk about it. And let me just preface this. That spirituality is about being connected with your inner self. Okay, being tuned in to your intuition. Tuned in with yourself in a way that is outside of the physicality. Okay, but... I hope y'all know what type of direction I'm trying to take with this video and do not get offended. I kind of stalled on making this type of video because like when you come in and talking about beliefs, you are going to get some pushback with that. Hey, everybody got their own beliefs. But basically, this video is just a cautionary warning, okay? Proceed with caution, basically. When you are coming to talk about spirituality, putting out certain things about it, you really got to do some research, okay? And when I say research, I don't mean getting on Google, looking up things. I'm talking about you need, y'all already know I like to correlate everything with God, okay? I'm trying to see how can I put this message. You need to know what you are dealing with before you pick it up, okay? You know that whole thing of our mother telling us the stove is hot, don't touch the stove, you're going to burn yourself? That is basically the same thing that goes along with spirituality and being mindful of certain information that you put out here, okay? Like I said plenty of times before, I'm not coming to tell nobody what to do. You make your own choices. This is your own life, but this is just a cautionary warning. If you come to talk about spirituality, please be careful of what type of information you are putting out here. When you tamper with any kind of evil, there's going to be some consequences. And I'm seeing it a lot to where people are just putting out certain things and speaking on certain things because it seems like it's popular now. Like I said, spirituality is trending. And if you don't really know what you got in your hands, you need to know what you're picking up. Hopefully y'all understand where I'm going with this message. You need to be careful what you are picking up. You know how they got the warning label on the back of certain things? Read your, basically when it comes to spirituality, read the instruction label before you pick this thing up. When you tamper with evil when it comes to spirituality and some people just just like i said it's, it just seems like it's a lot of people that really just don't know they don't know what they're going up against they don't know what they're picking up you know they're just doing it because they see this this is what everybody else is doing and they're not really reading the warning label they're not doing the research before they put certain things out here and they are unknowingly tampering with evil they don't know that some of these things 
it come along with spirituality is evil and so it's just kind of like when you put certain things out here not knowing how to operate it it's just kind of like going to apply for a job you know you ain't got the skills to work for this job and you just said yes to it know how to do this type of stuff because they paying 25 dollars an hour okay you tell me i'm getting paid 24 dollars an hour i know everything okay i'm gonna pretend like i do that is what's going on out here when it comes to the spirituality wave okay you got this whole bucket full of toxic chemicals in your hand that you gotta work with okay you ain't had no training a lot of these jobs to where they want you to start off with experience they expect you to know how to do these type of things because that's what you told them so a lot of these jobs they won't even train they just gonna throw you on the floor and expect you to know what you're doing okay so they didn't gave you a whole bunch of toxic chemicals to work with you don't know what you're doing you don't know what you got in your hand because you ain't had no experience with these types of chemicals okay so when you putting certain things out here in the world for the multitudes please be mindful of the warning label that comes along with what you are putting out okay putting wrong information out here can be just as dangerous as a baby picking up this toxic chemical and drinking it okay that is the same thing as putting out wrong information online, okay? And when I come and talk about spirituality, I feel like the Lord has all blessed us with something. But sometimes you have to go back to the drawing board, okay? Before you just get out here in the field like this. Before you go up against any type of spiritual warfare out here and get to speaking on this type of thing, you got to know what you're dealing with first. Now, I'm not one to come qualify you or disqualify you. That's not my job, okay? I done said this on my channel before. It's not my job to qualify and disqualify people. At the end of the day, it's up to the Lord to qualify you to do certain things, okay? But, like I said, this is a cautionary warning, okay? This is just like me holding your hand and telling you, hey, you see that in your hand? You done came on the job site. They didn't gave you a bucket full of toxic chemicals and you looking clueless and puzzled. You don't know which way to walk. You don't know what you're supposed to do. And this person, this coworker that came over to you that ain't been on the job for a long time. So they experience with these types of things. They come in and try to walk you and school you to what you're supposed to do. Okay? Because they see that you're clueless. They ain't coming with no dictatorship trying to tell you what to do. They ain't coming with that kind of energy. They just come in because they want to help you. Okay? This is the main purpose of this message. Because I just think something where you can tell that this person... You know how you can see certain things out here? You can tell that this person has pure intentions. You know, they have a pure, innocent soul. And you can tell they're taking in certain types of information. And they're not really understanding. They're just seeing things. You know, oh, this look cool. You know, I like this. I like how this is worded. Like, so you know how that person just sees something that they see everybody else doing. And they like it. You know, they they like, dang, you know, this ain't cool. Everybody doing it. You know, let me just see what I can do with this. And they're not understanding the dangers behind what they are picking up okay and they only seeing like i said everything on land they try to make everything on land look glamorized even spirituality this person may only see the glamorization of spirituality and they're not seeing the dangers behind certain types of information that's out here okay it's all different types of beliefs when it comes to spirituality and you got to know what you are dealing with you got to know what you're going up against and basically, you got to know what you're doing. And when it comes to this type of thing, I just kind of see it a lot to where people just kind of just trying to knock each other down and try to get to the top. You know, they're not really concerned about the lost people out here. They really just need guidance and they need, you know, leeway. They just want to be the one talking. They want to be the one that's heard and seen. Like, they don't care about helping other people, you know. And I feel like there should be more leadership out here when it comes to this type of thing, okay. Especially with what we are going up against in this world when it comes to spiritual warfare, okay. Everybody trying to be heard, everybody trying to be seen, everybody trying to be the last man standing, they want to be the only one. That's not, we got to help each other, okay? That's basically what this video boils down to. We got to help each other, okay? Especially our youth. I have seen a couple of times where I have seen some people, they have beautiful souls, they have pure intentions, and 
it's just a situation to where they're not understanding the totality and the dangers behind certain information is put out here a lot of this information is put out here it's set up for you to fail okay there's a lot of mixed messages out here it's a lot of messages of confusion and if you are not able to understand the dangers behind some of these messages you are going to get caught up in it okay this is the whole thing when it comes to being lost in the sauce okay and i'm the type of person that is going to come and try to help you along the way and i'm the type of person that don't want you to get lost in the sauce okay i keep seeing the whole thing with the terry angel numbers i'm not trying to come and step on nobody's toes and make nobody feel no type of way but that terry angel numbers numerology cards fortune tellers crystals sage oracle books all that type of stuff spell books all that type of stuff is connected to witchcraft okay and i know some people just don't want to hear it they don't want to believe it because it's been so glamorized on bang okay they have glamorized witchcraft to where people are deceived okay and there's certain people that's coming out here and they are basically tampering with evil not understanding that it's evil okay you are picking up some dangerous chemicals and you're not under you're not reading the warning label okay so some people can see that you are putting certain things out here with pure intentions and when you come to put out certain messages about certain things basically you got to give the lord the highest praise okay if you are putting out certain things, if you are reading up on spirituality and it seems as though you are not really getting anything from Holy Spirit or it seems as though you don't really hear the Lord in certain things and you're really trying to question whether this is real or not, like this person may come and talk about the Lord, then they may talk about angel numbers, then they may talk about tarot cards, then they may talk about the Lord and their tarot readings and things like that. And you kind of confuse, you know, all of it sounds good and you don't know whether to believe it or not because they use the Lord name and you feel like the Lord used this person to come give you a message, right? This is a deceptive part about spirituality, okay? And this is the whole thing of who do you believe in, okay? I keep seeing the whole thing to where people, they come to talk about spirituality, it seems as though they kind of put a lot of belief in their self. You don't really see that they make mention of the Lord and nothing that they come to talk about. It's kind of like this whole thing of self-praise, self-help, self-healing, self-development, everything about self, okay? And the person is unknowingly adapting to a certain programming and there are being so messages of confusion. You can tell what this person is mostly influenced by and you can tell that some of these people do not know that they are tampering with evil okay and this is why i see on my videos all the time this is no judgment zone okay we all make mistakes but like say for instance i really don't know how i'm gonna word this because when i seen something i just seen where the person just you can tell that this person was feeling a little bit of conviction you can tell that this person was feeling a little bit of confusion they really didn't see the wrongness behind what they was doing they was just going off of what they seen online and even though the person seemed as though they was in denial of what they were doing because a lot of people did tamper with witchcraft unknowingly they be in denial they don't want to believe that they are practicing this type of thing you know because the deception in it is that you are doing self-healing you know you are on your spiritual journey you are doing this you are doing that you are protecting your energy you put your intentions in certain things and you're not giving there's no lord in any of that okay and i can tell that certain people feel a little bit of guilt behind indulging in certain things because you're gonna have those people that's gonna come and throw stones at you okay this is not what this video is for okay this is not me trying to come down on nobody or nothing but there's no need for you to feel bad about certain things because we are all human and we are all flawed but you don't want to tamper with evil because when you put certain things out here you don't know who's picking this, these types of things up like that y'all picking up these toxic chemicals and drinking it thinking that it's water you know and it's just kind of like the whole sense of land leading the bland in a sense and i'm coming from a space where certain people just are not aware of the type of things that they are tampering with some people are knowingly they know what they're doing they know they're trying to lead the people down road of destruction they are very aware 
of what they are putting out here but some people you can tell that they just don't know you know and like i said we are not all perfect but this is just i don't want to keep this message running for too long but basically the title of this video okay when you tamper with evil there are going to be consequences but please be careful what you are putting out here okay you don't want to be that person where like say for instance you're working with these chemicals and like i said you ain't had no experience you just said you get to the job because they, they said they're gonna pay 25 30 dollars an hour right so you're trying to act like you know what you're doing and you putting certain chemicals and certain things and you don't know what you're doing and you didn't picked up the wrong chemical and something you ain't got your right protective gear to put on you ain't got on your pe glasses you ain't got on your gloves even though they told you because remember they didn't give you no training they just threw you on the floor and said good luck so even though this person gave you your gloves and your pe glasses you forgot to put it on because you wasn't trained to do this thing okay so you didn't even put your gloves or your glasses on you took this chemical and you put it in something and the chemical got on your skin you know you didn't know since your skin is burning you got allergic reaction to some of the chemicals you didn't know that you was allergic to and, and your body is going through a chain reaction and you can harm yourself okay you can harm yourself or you can harm others so that's basically what i want to talk about i don't want to go too deep on this video but i think i'm gonna probably do another walk with y'all again to talk about this topic a little bit longer because i feel like this is something that needs to be talked about more in depth but basically just read warning labels okay read your warning labels when it comes to this life okay There's certain things you are picking up this is just a cautionary warning okay and i will talk to y'all in the next video